What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today it's kind of obvious what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, we are talking about a refillable leather journal from Endless. It contains the iconic Regalia paper loving notebook, 80 GSM acid free ink loving. So, this is sort of a, a cardboard box in, that it comes in. Tells you a little bit more about the Explorer itself. Uh, and then it is a canvas waiting for you to ink your thoughts and ideas. <laughs> um, and then it talks about how like the leather sleeve will age as you do. Anything leather will patina over time. Uh, and then it tells you what this set includes. So you get a handcrafted leather sleeve, leather pen loop, extra holding bands, one storyboard large notebook, dotted layout, 64 pages of 80 GSM Regalia paper. And then here is their contact information. So when you get it, you kind of pull this like tab here. It's kind of hard to take out. And then the notebook would be sitting in here. And this is what you get with it. So it tells you how to set it up. You can kind of pause the screen if you want to see more. Uh, it comes wrapped in this little tissue paper thing here, which I will just kind of shove back in. And then in here is where your pen loop is stored. So not too much on the inside. So we'll get rid of that. And this is the notebook itself with the pen loop. So for those of you who have seen uh, my review already of the um, Midori notebook, uh, what, is, what used to be called Midori's Traveler's Notebook, now it's just called Traveler's Notebook. Uh, this is Endless's version of that, a refillable leather notebook. So it's got one band that keeps the unit closed and then these two bands are what will hold in any of your notebooks so this orange orangey red one right now has nothing attached to it it's just there so I could remove it if I wanted to it's just there so you can add more notebooks if you so choose uh, and I only have one notebook currently in here and then of course it just says what it is uh, so I only have one notebook. This is all they sent me, uh, but that is basically it. It's just one leather cover with one notebook held inside by the elastic with an elastic that is actually fairly tight. And I like that, as you can hear, <laughs> that goes around. Uh, so it's really nice. I chose the green color. There are many other colors you could choose. Uh, and then it does come with a matching pen loop. Now, I don't really get this, to be fair. <laughs> this is just me, because I don't know where to put it. No matter where I put it, it seems bulky. So if the notebook is closed, uh, and I put the, you know, thing around it, like this is how it shows in a lot of Endless's um, graphics. I'm just going to pull out a random retro 51 here uh you know then that's fine but then you got to take it off when you go to use it then you got to take this off when you go to use it it's just an extra step so but it's not like the elastic band is so big that you can't have it really just on the cover because then if it's like too far out here it, it folds it and it just kind of like seems bulky and in the way and it like I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure about this to be fair like there's nowhere that I can seem to put it where it seems to fit nicely with the notebook uh, ultimately I suppose like I said in in most of Endless's designs it seems like it's placed over the entire notebook whoops towards the back end and I, I also again realize that it's supposed to be bulky because most people are going to have more than one notebook uh 
in here. Um, you know, you're supposed to kind of like just carry it around like that. So for this purpose, I get it. Like just taking the pen to and from wherever it is you're going, it makes sense. But I don't know. It, it just seems a little bulky to me. And I'm also not, I think, the intended audience in that I never have just one pen. <laughs> I pretty much always have multiple. Uh, in which case, well, this is just one. But regardless, it's nice that it comes with it. Uh, but all is well said and done. How is the paper? Because really, if the paper is not good, then there's no point in having the notebook itself. Uh, oh, you can see some of the shimmer got on there. Uh, and I will say the paper is really, really nice. Uh, so I've done a couple reviews on endless paper before. One of which is the endless creative block that they sent me. And I really like this. Uh, I, I like this quite a bit, actually. Uh, and they did send me one of their regular journals that I have tested and used. Uh, and I also really like that. Uh, it's sort of what I determined there was sort of an in-between what a Tomoe River paper offers and what um, Clairefontaine or Rhodia offers. Clairefontaine and Rhodia, I actually don't care for that much because the coating that's on those papers is really, really thick. And I feel like a drag, a resistance uh, across the paper with my nibs that I don't get on Tomoe. And I prefer not feeling that. Whereas this is sort of in between. There is a slight drag on the paper like a Clairefontaine or Rhodia, uh, but it's not quite as glassy smooth as Tomoe. But the thing that's really great about this paper is that it does show a lot of shading, sheening, shimmeries, all the good stuff. Um, again, nothing have I found comes quite close to Tomoe River yet. Uh, eventually, I'm sure there will be, uh, but this does a pretty darn good job. Uh, so we've got sort of the torture test here, if I can focus the camera. Uh, no real feathering or anything like that, which is impressive, especially on what I wrote here, the ink torture test, because this is uh, Retro 51 Blue Refill, and that feathers on everything, even Tomoe River. Uh, and my Pilot Custom 912 just pools like crazy <laughs> with writer's blood, and it handled it pretty nicely. Um, the Caveco Sport Dye Mine Polar Glow. It's hard to capture on camera. You can kind of see there. You do get tons and tons of the sheeny goodness. It is hard, again, to see the Troublemaker Basilica Red, but you do get a decent amount of shading. And even on the big swatches that I put here, you do get a lot of that shimmer. Now, it does fail to pick up some of the sheen. You can see a little bit of the red here for Lamy Turquoise. This usually would have much, much more with the amount that I put on that paper. Um, so it, it doesn't do it quite as much as Tomoe, but pretty darn close. And then I left this page blank on purpose because I wanted to show you what the back looked like. So there is some bleed through on the Pilot Custom 912. Now, granted, like I said, this is basically the same amount of ink <laughs> that pulls down in this swatch. Like, it is banana cake. So for the average writer, you're going to have absolutely no problem. Uh, and there's a tiny, tiny bit of bleed through on the swatches. But nothing went to the next page. So that is pretty good to me. Now, I'm going to get out a pen here. This is uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Arizona Sunset. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh, and it is currently filled with a Wonder Pens exclusive ink called Ginger Chicken from Dominant Industry. I am obsessed with this ink, like absolutely obsessed. And this pen, to be fair. But I'm going to do a video on this one soon uh, because it just got sent back to me from being tuned.
So this is an extra fine nib. And you might be able to hear it. I don't know if you could hear it there, but I'll bring it really close to the mic. Camera couldn't focus on that, but you could probably hear that you do have some texture to the page. But there's not a ton of resistance. Uh, so I really like this paper. Uh, this paper is, like I said, in between what Tomoe will offer and what Clairefontaine and Rhodia will offer. Uh, so depending on which way you prefer, I think this is a nice combination. Um, I like their notebooks quite a bit. I will say I am not the targeted advertiser for the, the traveler notebook style. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me, uh, mostly because I prefer like a, a, an actual journal like uh, that, you know, it's just like a solid book that you just write in that's got nothing really like bulky and attached to it. Um, whereas this is definitely a bit bulky to me, but the ability to remove uh, kind of like I don't want to say cheap because it's not cheap uh, quality. I don't mean it that way. I just mean like the ability to remove notebooks and just add them in as you need them and keep the outer cover. That's pretty cool. And I do like the idea of that, um, but it's just not something that like for me suits my style, which is why I've actually sold my um, traveler notebooks versions because I had both the passport and the full size uh, travelers notebooks. Uh, but I will say for those of you who like this style, I think this is a really, really great notebook. Um, I think it's it's really nice as far as like being a full, it's not quite full A A5 size, but it's like pretty stinking close. <laughs> like this is an A5 and the paper itself is smaller than an A5, but to me, it's better than Tomoe's version, not Tomoe, sorry, um, Traveler's Notebook uh, Edition, because I don't like the thin, long pages uh, in the passport or the regular size. I prefer this size, like this quote unquote regular size um, notebook. So if I'm going to use either this or the Traveler's, I would prefer Endless over the Traveler's just for that. Um, and the paper quality is, is good enough for me. Uh, like I said, Tomoe does have a, a edge over this still, but this is pretty freaking darn awesome. Um, so everyone's going to ask this or Tomoe, or sorry, this or Midori's Traveler's Notebook. I would say this for me solely because of the paper size. Um, but that is up to you. <laughs> So do I recommend this notebook when all is said and done? The answer is yes, absolutely. Is it right for me? No, but that's because I don't care for these style notebooks. But the people that do care for these style notebooks are the people who are gonna buy it. <laughs> so that kind of makes my opinion on that moot. But for yeah, I, I, I do recommend this. Uh, and if you haven't ever tried one of these, but you're interested in getting into this kind of a style, I would, to be fair, actually recommend going with something like Endless over the Travelers. Uh, A, because you do get some accessories included, whereas Travelers, you have to buy everything extra. B, because I think having a quote unquote regular size notebook is going to be an easier adjustment into the game than uh, Travelers. So that is just my basic thoughts. <laughs> Uh, if any of you have used this version down in the comment section below, please let me know what you thought. Uh, and while you're down there, do hit the like and subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and an occasional Tuesday video. And if you want to check out the Patreon account to help support me and what I do here, that would be just absolutely amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.